On June 12, 2022, James Knox gave a sermon which was called a challenge to young adults. Knox spent this entire sermon boasting about his high school achievements, and if that's not bad enough, the achievements of which he boasted are all false. At one point, Knox boasted that he lettered in four sports in high school as he displayed his letters to his congregation. Uh, it, it used to be such a big deal to get a letter, a felt letter to put on your sweater or your jacket, and in a public high school of 1,200 students over New Smyrna, graduating class of 325, this is my football letter, and my basketball letter, and my track and field letter, and my golf letter for which I was offered a four-year ride to college. And it was a really big deal. It was a really, really big deal. As you just heard, Knox bragged to his congregation about lettering in four sports while he was in high school, and later in the same sermon, Knox also bragged about being voted president of the student body. And so I was was voted the president of the student body. There. Knox also boasted of his scholastic brilliance. I was, um, I was a, 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 a no effort, straight A student whose teachers uh, made extra work for him to do after his classwork was done. And James Knox graduated from New Smyrna Beach High School, class of 1976. The New Smyrna Beach High School yearbook is available online and like any yearbook, the graduates' pictures are displayed along with their school accomplishments. This is James Knox's New Smyrna Beach High School graduation picture. Notice that no sports are listed. It is listed that Knox was a co-president of the Student Government Association for which a student must apply, that he was a member of the Spanish Club, that he was a member of Interact, which is a Rotary Club, and that he was a member of the Inter-Club Council. Notice as well that being president of the student body isn't listed. Knox boasted that he had lettered in football, basketball, and track while he was in high school. Though these sports aren't listed on Knox's grad picture, perhaps they are listed for the other students who did participate in these sports. Greg Martin graduated from New Smyrna Beach High School in James Knox's class. Notice that varsity football, varsity basketball, and track are all listed under his picture. Perhaps Knox's football, basketball, and track accomplishments were mistakenly omitted from his graduation picture. Knox must have been on the basketball team, after all, he boasted that he was written up in the newspaper for his basketball achievements. And in those days, you, you young people wouldn't know this, but there was a thing called a newspaper. <laughs> Actually, it's called the paper. And everyone in town got the paper, you see. And there was four pages of local news in the paper. And if you ever got your picture in the paper, it wasn't like the internet where you could just put your own pictures on there and be a, your own celebrity. You, they put your picture in the paper. And man, when they... when when. <laughs> I, I broke several scoring records in basketball, uh, school scoring records, and your picture would be in the paper. And oh, it's a big, oh, it's a big deal. What a big deal. What a big deal. Everybody, you, you walked around town, thought they're just going to be asking for my autograph and stuff, but they didn't.
We've heard Knox's claim that he held many basketball scoring records and that he was even written up in the local newspaper for his basketball accomplishments. Remember that no sports were listed on James Knox's graduation picture. Let's now take a look at the new Smyrna Beach varsity basketball team. Notice that James Knox isn't pictured with the basketball team. And we can see from the team picture and with his name listed on the lower right, that Greg Martin was indeed a player on the team. Remember that varsity basketball was listed on Greg Martin's graduation picture. Remember when Knox claimed that he also lettered in varsity football? And that became all I cared about, was hearing their cheers and winning their approval. And, and I, 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 I hesitate to do this but because I'm so old now that you, you won't understand this, but it, it used to be such a big deal to get a letter, a felt letter to put on your sweater or your jacket and in a public high school of 1,200 students over at New Smyrna, graduating class of 325, this is my football letter. Remember that varsity football wasn't cited on Knox's graduation picture. Was he pictured with the football team? Let's take a look. Though it's a bit difficult to see, Knox isn't pictured or named as a member of the football team either. Knox also displayed his letter in varsity track while bragging that he was fast and ran like the wind. And my track and field letter, and it was a really big deal. It was a really, really big deal. I, w I was fast, I could run like the wind. I know you wouldn't believe that now. But We've heard much about Knox's high school achievements. We've heard that he was a no-effort straight A student, that he was president of the student body, that he lettered in four sports, that he held basketball scoring records, and that he was written up in the newspaper. He showed us his letter in track and now he says that he ran as fast as the wind. Was he ever really on the track team? Let's take a look. Though Knox displayed his letter in track to his congregation and told them that he was as fast as the wind, we can see that he is not pictured with the track team. Again, however, we do see that Greg Martin is pictured as we can read his name in the fourth column. We have clearly seen that James Knox lies compulsively. Can this man be at all fit to pastor God's flock or to even preach sound doctrine?